What's up guys, it's Dalmata here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Memology 101 video. We've got another one about Fauci. So we just got, Fauci just got caught flip-flopping about the short, the shots efficiency. So link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. How it started. Well, it's, it, it's important if you're not vaccinated. If you look at the people, the states, the cities, the counties that are highly vaccinated, they're safe. Their risk is extremely yeah. low. What we worry about are the states you put up on the screen and the people in those states who are at risk for a variant that's quite problematic. That's 14 day change in COVID cases. 55%, 53%. The, that's the situation. Arizona, 8%. If you're vaccinated, you don't have a risk, and that's the reason why we say it's as simple as black and white. You're vaccinated, you're safe, you're unvaccinated, you're at risk. Simple as that. How it's going. Did the COVID vaccine stop transmission of the virus? That is a complicated issue because in the beginning, the first iteration of the vaccines did have an effect, not 100%, not a high effect, they did uh, prevent infection and, and, and subsequently, obviously, transmission. However, it's important to point out something that we did not know early on that became evident as the months went by is that the durability of protection against infection and hence transmission was relatively limited, whereas the duration of protection against severe disease hospitalization and deaths was more prolonged. We did not know that in the beginning. In the beginning, it was felt that in fact, it did prevent infection and thus transmission, but that was proven as time went by to not be a durable effect. Yeah, definitely. Had I don't think the problem is that he's admitting to this because it is true. Like, you know, as time went on, we began to know this. The problem is they denied this despite the fact that, you know, it was the trust the science except we already knew what the science was, right? The results were coming in, and then if you pointed at the results, you were labeled as anti-science, despite being the one that was actually following the studies and the results of those studies, right? It Once it became a political issue, it, it was like this almost like pseudo-religious fervor where despite the fact that the data was saying one thing, you weren't allowed to say that or you were anti-science, right? Changing your mind based on the data isn't the problem. It's the fact that they, they didn't allow it to be politically or so socially acceptable until it was politically uh, useful. Positive effect for many or politically people, no especially longer those that were vulnerable. But we knew from the trials that people that got vaccinated still were subject to getting COVID. So was the COVID vaccine 100% effective? I don't believe any vaccine is 100% effective. You're vaccinated, you're safe, you're unvaccinated, you're at risk. Simple as that. You are a liar, you are a fake, <laughs> you are the biggest douche ever. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't think that, like, the problem isn't that he changed his mind as the data came out. Because that's, you know, what you're supposed to do, right? That's the entire scientific process. The problem is that they, the data came out, and not only did these people, at least not publicly, change their mind, um, they would go after... Um, people and try to cancel them if they pointed to the data and showed like, look, what you're saying is not true, right? And they would use these appeal to authority fallacies, probably most infamously is the Fauci I am, the science quote. Um, they would use these logical fallacies of, you know, an appeal to authority uh, to shut anyone up. Like, are you a doctor? It's like, no, but I can read a study that says this isn't nearly as effective as you say it is, right? And then once it this became no longer a hot political issue, right, we're now three, four, five years out um, from the whole pandemic, now that it's no longer a hot political issue and it's no longer something they can dunk on Republicans about, now suddenly they're actually able to admit stuff that we've known for four years. That's the problem. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.